trivia. That, let me, that, is that a caricature of, of the kind of thing that you're saying? And some of that is going on. Let's not kid ourselves. All of that stuff is true. The really encouraging news, and Eric and I wrote our previous book about this exact topic, is that there does not seem to be any shortage of demand for all different kinds of human skills. So obviously, the, the math nerds are gonna have a very easy time in the future. You mentioned creativity. We are seeing machines do creative things, but, but deeper creativity, understanding the human condition and putting something out there that's novel and that people resonate with, that's still a really human activity. As we talked about a little bit ago, a social skills, especially more advanced social skills, what a manager does, what a, you know, what a girls' middle school soccer coach does. That is not going to be automated. It's absolutely not. I think we're a very long way away from ever having a piece of technology that can take care of a room of kindergartners, uh, that could actually take care of a room full of, of elderly people who need to feel some companionship out there. So, so there is no shortage of work that needs to get done and get done by people. The challenge that we face is not that we're at peak labor and the machines are going to be doing everything for us. That, that's not in sight. It might happen. We are not there yet, and I don't think we're close to that yet. The challenge that we face is that some of the jobs that we're creating are incredibly well compensated, and a lot of them are actually not that well compensated. Uh, our, our economic engine used to do a fantastic job of kicking out lots of great American middle class jobs. It's kind of kicking out a lot of lower middle class jobs now, kind of home health <coughs> jobs. That's a really valuable job. It's not paid very well by the market. The good news is, and the note that I want to end on is, that we are, thanks to progress and lots of other things, we are now a wealthy enough society that if we, if we value that home health aid job and the market is not paying it a great wage, we can top that wage up. It's like a negative income tax. It's an easy technical fix. And we should be exploring more and more of these solutions as the labor force changes because of these tectonic forces of technology and globalization. Trying to resist them and take us back to the 1950s is a terror. It, it won't work. And it's a bad idea for lots of other reasons. We need to lean into the future. I don't think it's impossible to do. And we are not heading into a world that doesn't need us anymore. We just got to tweak the world that we're creating to make it feel better for a lot of us. I think that's a nice phrase to end on. Thank you all very much.